Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Breast Cancer Awareness Month isn't until October, but it's an important conversation to have year round. And you'll find out why when we find uh, the, the next guest has some interesting statistics to share with us. I'm joined by Kimberly Carson, CEO of Breast Cancer Canada. How are you today? Great to have you here, Kimberly. I'm great. I'm great. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, Kimberly, uh, you know, I mentioned some of those statistics. Uh, let, let's start off with that because I know uh, the World Health Organization has some statistics and you, you have some stats um, here in Canada as well that you'd like to share with our viewers today. Yeah, absolutely. So we did a survey of Canadians to ask them if they would be prepared if, with a diagnosis of breast cancer. And shockingly, 90% of people came back and said no. So... The World Health Organization said in February of 2021 that breast cancer was the most diagnosed cancer in the world. So there's a huge disconnect between what people are prepared for, what they know about breast cancer, and the fact that it's the number one diagnosed cancer in the world. So we're very concerned about that. Yeah, and that's where I think where you come into play, Kimberly, at Breast Cancer Canada and in the fact that you support patients and, and their loved ones. Tell us, tell us how you support patients and their loved ones. Yeah, so what we're doing is we invest in research that saves lives. Right. Um, and all of the research that we fund directly impacts patients. So what we've learned from funding research is that not one size fits all. One of the other interesting facts that came from that survey was that most people did not understand that there's more than 50 different types of breast cancer. So that when you're diagnosed with breast cancer, you may not have to do chemotherapy, for example. Research has shown us that only about 15% of all breast cancers actually respond to chemotherapy. Okay. Okay. What about precision oncology? I know that is something that, that you've really targeted at Breast Cancer Canada as well. For people that aren't familiar with what that means, maybe you could describe it for us. Yeah, absolutely. So precision oncology is our focus for our research, and what that means is personalized medicine in, in a generalized form. So that means that not all treatments are the same for every person. So depending on the type of breast cancer you have, you may have an entirely different treatment than somebody else. And that's our personalized medicine. So it's making sure that the treatment, the diagnosis and the treatment and the cure are all lined up with your specific type of personalized breast cancer. What about the signs, Kimberly? What should people be looking for? We are asking people to please be very well aware of their breast health and to make sure that they have their mammograms done. There's all kinds of signs and symptoms for breast cancer. You know, certainly a change in your breast health is the number one biggest sign. Uh, diagnosis, of course, is, is the most important. I imagine early detection is incredibly important. Maybe you can just expand on that and, and, and why that is. Yeah, absolutely. The sooner we can catch it, the better cure rate that we can offer. So if we can catch it at stage zero, stage one, stage two, we can almost 100% guarantee a survival rate of more than five years. So it's very, very important that we catch that breast cancer as soon as possible. That means getting your mammograms done. That means be paying attention to your breast health, regardless of your age. How, how far has treatment come over the years? I mean, you know, if we, if we look back even, you know, 30 years ago, what, what a change we've had. You mentioned that word survivor, Kimberly, which we're talking about more and more, uh, which is so incredibly encouraging. How far has research come over the years? Oh my gosh, you know, just the fact that you know, we often now don't do um, mastectomies, you know, there's often very um, non-invasive sort of uh, types of treatment for breast cancer. And like I mentioned, you know, you may not have to have uh, chemotherapy anymore. It may be just radiation. You know, the, the type of treatments that we do, uh, a lot of them are oral treatments now. So there's such a change and so much has, has happened with research, and not just even in the treatment, but also in the detection. You know, we right. anticipate that in a few years, we'll be able to have a blood test that will actually help detect breast cancer a little bit sooner than even a mammogram. So there's so many exciting things happening in the, in the industry. Yeah, and beyond that, I think the, the support, I know we touched on it just you know a moment ago, Kimberly, but that support has expanded so much over the years as well. And not only for the patients, but for loved ones, because you know when, when somebody gets a diagnosis, um, the whole family and, and, and their friends are involved as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. And you know, the the journey and the stories and the support uh, groups that are available has certainly uh, grown. And there's again, you know, the knowledge that there's so many different types of breast cancer that you know, the patients used to panic and say, "Well, I'm not getting the same type of, of treatment as I was my friends were," but that's a good thing. That's that's precision right. oncology working. Yeah, and, and those stories all differ from from each other. How, why did you decide to get involved, Kimberly? Oh my gosh, it's such a passion for me. You know, obviously, it's in my family. Um, I can see the difference that research is making. Even the seven years that I've been here, I I see such a difference in the research, the treatment, the detection, and the things that are coming are so exciting. Well, and all that takes funding as well for people that, that are interested in, in donating. What's the best way to go about it? And I imagine people can put their own events together as well. Absolutely. So October, as you mentioned, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we have the nomorerasemore.ca site, and then we have breastcancerprogress.ca. And either are a great way to see what we're doing, help fund our breast cancer research, and help make a difference. Kimberly, really appreciate the time today. Thanks so much for joining us here on Daytime Ottawa. Thank you very much. All right, take care. As, as uh, Kimberly just said, breastcancerprogress.ca to find out more information. We'll be right back.